Hey everybody, it's Nate with Sauce Ain't the Boss here again, and today is day number 338 of quitting alcohol. I was on my hike today and I uh, went by myself. My wife had a lot of stuff to do and typically she goes with me. So I had a lot of time out there on my own just to kind of reflect and think. And I kind of went ham out there, just uh, gave it my all and ended up finishing a seven mile run slash hike in about um, an hour and 20 minutes. And uh, it was like 90 degrees out, hot, sun was beating down. And um, I was pretty uh, just amazed at uh, how I was able to feel so good doing that. I felt alive. I wasn't like, you know, you know, profusely sweating like I normally would have been a year ago. Uh, I wasn't as out of breath as I should have been. Um, I just felt really good. And it just kind of blew my mind the level of fitness I've been able to get into in one year time, you know. And I'm not patting myself on the back or bragging. I'm just, I'm just honestly shocked that uh, the body can rebound that quickly if we take ourselves seriously and focus on, um, you know, quit, it, quit putting toxins into our body, put good stuff in, and uh, you know, work out, take care of ourselves, get sleep, um, do cardio, do some weight training. Uh, it all pays off and rather quickly if you're consistent about it, right? Consistency is the key with anything, whether it's diet, exercise, quitting alcohol or whatever. And uh, as I was out there, I was thinking about how I, I'm, I, I feel like a lot of times I'm on borrowed time, like, um, you know, because I should have been dead the amount of alcohol that I used to drink in my lifestyle. Um, there were times where I would go to bed thinking, I don't know if I'm going to wake up the next day, you know, because there would be times I'd stop breathing in my sleep. And like I mentioned, my heart would start pounding in the middle of the night. And I don't know if that's because I stopped breathing or my body was having some kind of glitch where my heart just started. It, it, it would, I could just feel it. It felt like somebody's fist just pounded on my chest. And I remember thinking, I'm going to have a heart attack here. You know, I don't know what this is. And, you know, um, and I was out there today just reflecting on, um, you know, where I was almost a year ago and where I am now. And it's just night and day. Um, it, it's not even, I, I, I don't even feel or look like the same person that I used to, you know. And uh, that's a good thing. Uh, I don't want to be that old version of myself. I'm moving forward. I'm moving past alcohol and, and past um that lesser version of myself and um you know uh each day now you know I, I wasn't really thankful when I was drinking uh for life I would just kind of just I was I wasn't even like living life it, it, it felt like I was in a dream when I was drinking it was the same thing over and over again and um I wasn't really making, it didn't feel like I was in control of my life. It didn't feel like I was making my own decisions that I wanted to make or, you know, just living life the way that um, I really wanted to live it or that I was capable of living it. Um, I was just in this constant um, cloud, this constant prison of alcohol. And, um, you know, I feel so completely 180 now, you know, and, uh, <clears throat> It's like I mentioned in yesterday's video, I wanted to start talking about the differences between um, now and almost a year ago because this channel is nearing its end and, you know, it's going to be a lot to try to cram everything into one video at the end. And so I'm kind of, kind of gradually building up to that last video on day 365. And, um, you know, one of the things that um, quitting drinking did for me was it saved my life. Um, there's not a shadow of a doubt in my mind that if I continued on the path that I was on with the drinking and lifestyle of a drinker that I had, that uh, I don't know if I'd be sitting here right now. And if I was, I would be in horrible condition and uh, I wouldn't have probably have long if I was still around, you know. And uh, I'm not just saying that as a scare tactic or as, you know, some mythological thing I'm creating in my mind, but... Uh, 
you start getting, you know, warning signs like I mentioned. You start getting scared. You start getting afraid. You know, you know, when the end is near. You know when you're going down a path that isn't going to end well. It's, it's, it's almost like, you know, when we're doing something as little kids that we know we're not supposed to be doing. And, uh, you know, there's some um, consequences waiting for you just around the corner. You're not sure when it, you're going to get caught or when it's going to happen, you know, but you know it's coming and it's inevitable, right? And that's how it felt when I was drinking near the end there that, uh, you know, the consequences were getting closer and closer and they were starting to show up and I was starting to get I was starting to get scared, man. I'm not going to lie. And that was one of the motivating factors to quit drinking was fear. Was it the only one? No. But um, it's okay if fear and uh, that kind of thing is what is going to get you to initially quit drinking, um, you know. So, um, you know, look for those warning signs that are popping up. Don't wait till it's too late. Listen to that inner voice that's telling you it's time to stop. Because uh, we never know when it's going to be our time. Um, you know, I could die sitting in this chair right now. I could have a brain aneurysm and boom, that's it, you know. Um, I went to school with somebody that had a brain aneurysm and it, he, he died young and it was sad. And I just, uh, I remember thinking, man, you know, that could happen to any of us at any time. So nobody's guaranteed, you know, X amount of days on this uh, planet and we never know when our time is going to come, but we can make decisions and do things that are going to um, give us the best chance of being around for the long haul. Um, and one of which is quitting alcohol and not poisoning ourselves every single day. Um, so give that one some thought today, guys. I mean, um, where are you going to be five years, 10 years if you keep on drinking? Um, and where are you going to be if you quit today in five or 10 years? Uh, where I'm at in one year, everything in my life has changed. Uh, there's really nothing almost that has stayed the same. And uh, I, I can't even begin to tell you how just, you know, I, I, I can't put it into words um, how I feel about that. Like it, it just, I'm blown away. I just, I don't even have words. It's just something that I, I don't think I'll ever be able to explain um, you know, <laughs> where I was, how I felt, uh, to where I am today and the things I'm able to do. Um, I'm hands down in the best place I've ever been in my entire life. And that, that's on a spiritual level. That's on a, uh, physical level, um, on a mental level, um, financial level, uh, family level. I mean, it just goes on and on. And, uh, who would have thought in uh, a, a short one year? And, uh, you know, and I know that uh, a lot of you guys out there and gals out there are struggling just to get through day one of quitting alcohol. I remember, you know, just going through that first day felt like I ran a marathon to not drink on one day. Um, that's how addicted to alcohol I was. Uh, it was hard for me to muster up the courage and strength to do one day, let alone two or three or four. And, um, you know, it, it's that age old, you just got to get over that initial hump and don't fall to the, you know, uh, thoughts that pop into your head of, and justifications of, you know, why you need to go back to alcohol or this is too hard or you can't do it. Don't think for a second that that didn't pop into my mind. Those thoughts were there all the time. Oh, you just need to go back to drinking. This isn't worth it. Uh, you know, uh, I get pissed off at somebody or some situation in my life and I, I deserve to drink, right? I want to drink. I deserve it. I've had a bad day. Um, life's not worth living if it's not, if I can't get buzzed anymore. And all this bullshit we tell ourselves and thoughts that pop into our head, it's all just lies. It's all just from the devil, you know, and um, don't listen to that crap because uh, it's, it's, it's just wanting to take you down, take you out, you know, take you out of this world. And, um, you know, don't, don't fall to that voice. Um, you know, listen to the part of you that knows what's right and, uh, you know, latch on to that and move forward. And I'm here to tell you guys that, um, you know, if I was able to do it, I had those thoughts, I had those feelings, I had 
you know, um, I felt hopeless at times. You know, I talk about never losing hope, but there were times, man, I'll tell you, I felt pretty hopeless. I felt pretty dark, like I was never going to be able to quit drinking alcohol because I was so compelled to do it. And uh, I just kept trying, though. I just kept trying. I knew that I, I could always try, right? I could give it my all. I could, I could not drink today. I could try, and, and I just... I'd fail and over and over again, I'd, I'd ask myself, what do I need in my life, you know, to make the difference this next time? And, um, you know, again, I, I talk about accountability was the big one for me, having accountability, which I finally created. Um, but, uh, you know, for you, it might be something else. And you've got to find what that is and uh, make it happen, you know. If you try to quit drinking alcohol and you mess up, right, you go back to it. Ask yourself, why did I go back to it? Analyze it. Really give it some thought. Don't just go back to it willy-nilly and then and, and get stuck in it. You know, really kind of, you know, even if you're stuck into it for a while, analyze where you screwed up, how you screwed up. That's what I used to do. And maybe that made the difference. I don't know, you know. But uh, whatever reason, um, I was always um, intrigued by, you know, why did I screw up? I don't want to do this. I don't want to drink. I don't. So what what is it about what happened here in this situation that made me go back to the alcohol. And if you can start breaking that down and seeing it and analyzing it and figuring that out and fixing that, um, you know, you may screw up again after that. And again, but each time, you know, uh, figure it out, man. Just just think about it. Give us some thought. Where, where could I have done differently? What could I have done differently? Could I have got up and done something and shook in that feeling and that thought um, you know, could I have visited somebody that is a non-drinker that could have talked me out of it? Could I have had some accountability? Was there somebody in my life I could have confided in and had a conversation with, you know? And, um, you know, could I have went to a meeting? Um, you know, do I need to check myself into rehab? I mean, there's all kinds of different ways. Watching these videos, watching other videos, reading a book about it, or just getting out and getting out into nature or getting on the treadmill or going for a hike or a walk. It's amazing how for me, when I'm just... Uh, at my wits end with stress or, um, you know, just problems in my life now or, or, or situations that are just, uh, you know, tough to deal with. Uh, you feel that stress just kind of hanging over your head. If I just go out and I go for a long walk or a long hike uh, outside, I come back feeling completely like a different person. I wish I would have done that more in the beginning, you know, um, when I was having those tough cravings and you know, just get up, go outside, um, get out into nature, find your nearest hiking trail. If you live in the city, even if it's just, uh, you know, driving to a park or just going out your front door and walking um, down the city streets, you know, whatever you got to do to just to get outside, get some fresh air, get some sunshine and, um, you know, get the blood pumping. It does wonders. And, um, you know, uh, I, I highly encourage you guys to do that because it can really make the difference. So, um, yeah, I, I should probably be dead the amount I was drinking. And I'm thankful that I was given a second chance, you know, a second chance at doing things right and um, getting past alcohol and discovering who I really am and what I'm capable of and the life that uh, is waiting for us all on the other side of alcohol. Because it's a beautiful life, guys. It's way, way more beautiful than that uh, hell that uh, you know we're putting ourselves in by being addicted to alcohol and uh, you can break the addiction cycle you're fully capable of it we all are we all have it in us I'm not any more special than you or anybody else or, or the guy that went 20 years without alcohol um, you know we're all people we all have um, you know our own gifts and, and things that make us tick and um, you know, uh, you know, we can, we can do this. I've done it and, uh, I'm confident you can too. Is it easy? No, but, uh, is it worth it? Hell yes. And you know, it is, and, uh, you just have to, um, get past the hurdle and keep moving forward, you know, and, and one day at a time they say, right. And there's a lot of truth that you just say, I'm not drinking today and I'm probably not drinking tomorrow. And, uh, I wake up every morning and say that, you know, I heard somebody, mentioned that that's what they tell themselves every day. I'm not drinking today and I'm probably not drinking tomorrow. And, um, you know, whatever little mantra you got to tell yourself or motivation, um, there's lots of resources and tools out there. And, and um, you know, uh, honestly, you know, with, with different YouTube channels and, and uh, social media and the internet, 
there is a, a, a lot more available today for people that are wrapped up in alcohol um, to be able to quit and resources than there's ever been before. And uh, that's exciting. That's, that's, that's positive. I used to watch little blurps here and there and different, uh, you know, YouTube channels when I was trying to quit in the past, some were helpful more than others, but um, you know, find out the one that's best for you. If it's not me, look at somebody else, you know, and, um, you know, figure it out. Start your own channel. I've seen a, a few of you guys on there and gals really commenting on my channel and you guys say some brilliant stuff, you know, and uh, who's going to take the reins when I leave, right? One of you guys needs to go out there and start a channel and, and help people. Um, you know, it doesn't matter if you're the guy that's three years sober or the gal that's just starting out or the guy that's just starting out or or who you are, but uh, you know, if uh, you can share your journey and your experiences and help others, um, I, I have found that to be really rewarding. I didn't know how many people I was gonna help when I started this, and it sounded like I've helped a few people, and that's really exciting to me because, um, you know, I needed help, you know, uh, some, like they say, some of us, you know, maybe all of us can't do this alone. I don't know, you know, I've gotten help from different areas. I, I mean, um, it's one of those things that this is not, you know, a super easy thing to do. And the more people out there um, that we see um, struggling and going through day by day, um, you know, not drinking and how they're doing it and how they're feeling and sharing their thoughts and their ups and downs. And um, it helps, right? It helps to know that you're not alone. And uh, believe me, you're not. And I think in this day and age, there's more people struggling with alcohol than we'll ever know. A lot of people hide it. More and more people are drinking for different reasons. Uh, a lot of people got wrapped up into drinking during the COVID shutdowns. And um, it's just getting, seems like worse and worse in many cases, you know. And, um, you know, you're hearing young people in their 20s getting liver cirrhosis and stuff because they're just, you know, hitting it so hard. So, um, you know, um, maybe create a channel, create some kind of social media account that uh, shows how your life's going without drinking. I know it's not for everybody, but, um, you know, I mean, if, if I leave this world and, and I, I help one or two people with this channel and it stays up and, and helps a few people, um, that, that does my soul well, man. I, I feel good about that, you know, and um, so... That's it for today, guys. Uh, if you guys are enjoying these videos, please give them a like. Subscribe to the channel if you can. And most importantly, remember, sauce ain't the boss. You are. You guys have a great day.